One of the challenges in software development is upgrading the frameworks and libraries that you are using in your application. These frameworks and libraries release new versions all the time, either for adding new features or fixing bugs or fixing security vulnerabilities like that. And it is very difficult to manually check and then upgrade these libraries. If you are building a large application, you might probably be using a wide range of uh, third party libraries and it will be very tedious to manually check is there any update to the library and then up upgrading it. There are a few modern tools like GitHub, Dependabot and uh, Renovate like tools to automate this process. I have tried both Dependabot and Renovate and I find Renovate working much better and then providing more features. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use Renovate to keep your application dependencies up to date. So let's get started. Here is a sample application repository in my GitHub account. This is nothing but a simple Spring Boot application and let us see how we can use Renovate to keep the dependencies up to date. So first thing we need to do is to install GitHub's Renovate app. Once you install this application, it will ask you to authenticate yourself and then you will be able to configure whether you want to enable Renovate for all the repository in your account or you can selectively enable only for certain repositories. So I have already installed this application and then now if I go to oh, my account settings, here I can see applications. So under applications here there is a Renovate application. So I can click on configure and authenticate myself. Then if you scroll down, there is a configuration section where you can select whether you want to enable or renovate for all of the repositories in your account or you want to select only uh, for certain repositories. Let us say I want to enable only for that re renovate demo application. So I'm going to select renovate and save. So once I did that, it is going to enable renovate uh, for this specific application. So here, let us see what is going to happen. So it is going to it install this renovate for this repository. And now initially it is going to trigger this uh, setup process, which automatically going to create a new PR to initialize this uh, renovate configuration. So now if you take a look at it, there is a pull request here, configure renovate. So what renovate does is it will scan your repository and identify the potential components that can be monitored for upgrades. So here in our application, we have Docker compose file, GitHub actions, and it is a Maven based project. And then we are using Maven wrapper. So it scanned all these uh, um, packages that can potentially be monitored for upgrades. And then let us say, we are going to merge this. Once we merge this initial uh, configure renovate PR, it is going to create this renovate.json configuration file. So it it is configured with the base recommended approach configuration. So once we have this one, it is going to trigger a process that identifies what are the potential candidates for upgrades. So already here we have seen two PRs raised. One is for uh, Maven wrapper. So currently it is using 3.9.5 and it is suggesting to upgrade to 3.9.6. And another PR, currently we are using Spring Boot 3.2.1 and it is suggesting to upgrade to 3.2.3. And here in the PR, it already made these changes, necessary changes here. So that way it is going to monitor your code base and then automatically rise uh, PRs that will upgrade the dependencies. Here you can see Renovate created even more PRs to upgrade various components. So in this PR, it is trying to uh, create a PR to upgrade Postgres image from 15 Alpine to 16 Alpine. So where we are using that? So in our Docker Compose file, we are using Postgres 15. So there is a newer version. So it is suggesting to upgrade to this newer version. Also, uh, we have uh, GitHub Actions configuration 
and we are using setup java action for setting up java jdk and we are using version 3 but there is a newer version version 4 so it is creating another pr to upgrade to that version so similarly there is a pr for upgrading one of the maven plugin which is currently using a little older version like 2.41.1 and there is a newer version 2.43.0 so it is creating another pr for that so like that there are multiple PRs that are created to uh, upgrade the dependencies, various uh, uh, plugins, etc. to their newer versions. So let us, because we have our GitHub Actions and uh, as part of the pipeline, we are running the tests, we can ensure that they are uh, running fine or not based on the actions that got triggered. So for each PR, it is going to trigger this pipeline and then uh, we can ensure that okay this is not breaking my build so we can confidently match that PR so that is the crucial part just because renovate or uh, created the PR doesn't mean it is going to work because in our uh, repository we have the uh, CI pipeline which is uh, running tests and then making sure that nothing is breaking so that is why we are confident enough to match these PRs okay let us go ahead and match Maven wrapper upgrade from 3.9.5 to 3.9.6 most likely this might not break anything and let us go ahead and match spring boot upgrade PR 3.2.1 to 3.2.3 okay so once you match this it is going to automatically delete that branch as well so now there are a few more PRs here and if you take a look at our github actions it is going to trigger the pipeline because the main branch is updated so like that it will automatically create the PRs based on the various components that you are using and it will enable you to uh, keep your libraries up to date versions so renovate periodically checks for is there any newer versions of the libraries that you are using and then if there is any newer version available it is going to create a new pr but this might be uh, become overwhelming maybe you enabled renovate for all your repositories and then uh, there are too many prs getting raised and you don't want to have that much of noise so you can customize the renovate behavior by configuring renovate.json in such a way that okay i want to run this renovate process only once in a day or once in a week things like that so what we can do so by default when we match the initial pr it created this renovate.json file which is extending the basic recommended configuration now if we go to renovate documentation so here there is um, some included presets uh, documentation and here scheduled presets uh, page is there so here you can see various options when you want to trigger and also there is a uh, configuration where you can automatically merge certain PRs so but uh, I would not recommend unless you are very confident about auto merging this but you can customize the schedule like if you want to run uh, your build daily you can run uh, build daily at 4 a.m. or something like that or you want to run only on early Mondays like before 4 a.m. on Monday or you can say run only weekly ones schedule early Mondays so what we can do we can take this and if you go to our, our repository code so here we have a renovate.json and here we can add that schedule early Mondays so and now if we commit this change going forward it only uh, trigger this renovate upgrade process on early mondays and then it is going to check is there any newer versions available and then it will raise prs accordingly so this way it it will be very easy to keep track of what are the library versions you are using and is there any newer versions available and you will be able to easily upgrade your applications ra rather than waiting for a long time and then doing a big bang new upgrade project